Hello and welcome to Small Fry Unify with me, Sean Paul Johnston. Connor's joining me as well, he's just at the side here. Tonight we're going to be playing Corex on the PlayStation VR with the developer who's joining us in the chat here. You'll hear him in the background, hopefully. Mark, do you want to say hi? Hello, Hello everybody. everybody. <laughs> so Mark is joining us down in Milton Keynes in his studio. So we're going to be doing a playthrough, well, a playthrough, a let's play, hands-on preview type thing of Corex to show you a couple of uh, the levels and you're going to be playing co-op, I presume, Mark, yeah? It's up to it's you, up to you. you, you do best of that, go like. Yeah, we'll do both, but like, just to be clear here, Mark is the expert, he made the game, so he will destroy <laughs> it. <laughs> and and uh, we yeah, have played it already. On. Sorry, Mark? The pressure's, the pressure's on. on. <laughs> the, the pressure is on. Mark said, uh, we've already tested it a couple of times, played it already, and I was terrible at it. Lindsay was going to be here joining me tonight, unfortunately she can't make it, uh, but Lindsay was actually playing way better than I was, so I was kind of hoping Lindsay could have been the, the mascot for Small Fry Unify, but unfortunately it rests on my shoulders now. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I've played strong, but you know what I'm like with VR. I just Co sit 10 minutes in. Connor is actually really good like with this type of game, but yeah, he gets sick with VR. But Mark, I think your game is probably actually perfect for Connor, because it doesn't really involve much motion, so it probably works really well for him. I don't yeah. know, I played Skyward Sword in the, you know, the cinema mode. Yeah. And, oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, well, yeah, you played it in the cinema more than a media. Yeah, but that still made me kind of sick. I mean, less sick than it was. Right, guys, we're just going to jump in and I'll get the the room set up. Uh, Mark will join me and we'll just like we'll head on for the see what the We're only going to be playing for about half an hour, Mark. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Right. Uh, we'll switch over to the game so you can see what's going on as that's well. Fine. Oh, get myself in the headset here. All right, you need a hand with that, Sean. Yeah, we could do. We could switch <laughs> over. That'd be great. Thank you. <laughs> Now, what's controller and put you using? No, 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 that's it. I've got it all set up. I'm good. I'm just straightening myself up here. All right, okay. That's me set up. All right. I'm going to go a bit closer, actually. Okay. Cool. Uh, is that in the game set up, Connor, yeah? Yeah, it's on gaming overlay. Cool. So, if you're joining us for the first time, you maybe saw, if you were on previously, when we were down in Milton Keynes at Stella VR, we were playing this, and, yeah, we were in there, so we are playing it it was me and Lindsay and Mark were playing it three player, but we're here, Mark's another side of the country, so this is, be we, we tested this last night, it was quite good, it worked really well actually, there was no, no problems with lag or anything like that. Right, let's get this set up, let's see where we are. So, is there a specific level you want to play, Mark? Pick, pick any you like, um, um, probably start off with one of the first, first two or three. <laughs> Okay, I'll go that. Be a good, uh, yeah, I won't go the triple idea. threat then. Let's just go the first one then. Face off. Oh, that's face off. I don't want to go face off. Co op. Co op. Yeah, first, yeah, one's, first good. one's good. We'll put on. Uh, we'll, we'll go easy. Because <laughs> I, was, I, I was playing terrible. Right, we've got double trouble here. Double nah, trouble. Come on. Medium at least. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to show off, Mark. <laughs> you just want to show good job. Right, I'll start it's, the host anyway. Come so off. I'll help you out. You out. Right, uh, co-op, right, okay. Right, we'll go there, okay, we've got medium then, okay, there we go. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, uh, we're just going to show you, like, a couple of levels here, but as you can see there, I was telling you in the, when we were talking about the interview and stuff I was talking about, is it looks like a, like an RC remote, so this is what you're aiming with, so if you can see that on right. the screen. Okay. It's really simple, when you get in, you'll see your stats, uh, your energy and stuff on the little screen on the controller, and it's nice and clear to see which buttons you're pressing. You know, so you've got your square, your circle, triangle, and cross, and they're all easily visible. But I'll show you what the buttons do and everything, so you get an idea. Does, do the buttons respond uh, in game to the when you press it down? Uh, I don't know. I have to check that. Actually, does it mark? So wait, what's that? When when you're in game, when you press the buttons on the controller, do the, do you actually see yourself pressing them in the game? They light, they light up, up. If, if oh, right. in the menu screen, if you just point somewhere safe. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's really, cool. yeah really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. And here, this is something, Mark, is this something that's uh, something you can talk about with the heads just now? Um, yeah. yeah, so, so um, basically, basically, there are, there some, are some options for head-up, head uh, uh, the heads in the options in the menu, menu screen, screen. It's not in the screen. screen. Um, um, at the start, you can choose between the humanoid head and the left there, which... 
small for you to pass. I'm going to be able to head. I can also change the colors. There are some DLC options, but purely cosmetic. They don't have anything anyway. But if you want a different head, there's some like. Alien, alien space, space helmets, helmets and skulls, and skulls and some, some, some pretty cool, pretty cool stuff, stuff in that. So, uh, if you want to customize your character from that, then, uh, yeah, just yeah, seek out the options, options menu, you can get correct and look in there. Are you able to talk about price for that, or is that something you're uh, on launch day? <coughs> yeah, yeah, I, I believe, believe that the, the DLC, DLC is going to be priced, priced at, at, I think it's 99 cents. Nice and cheap. Um... Yep, 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 that, that's, that, that's per head. head. Um, and, and we all know that 99 cents... $19. And we all know that 19, uh, 99 cents translates to 50 pence in UK money because the conversion rate is so strong. Unfortunately not. I know, rubbish. I think it's 79, um, 79, uh, 79 pence in the UK, UK um, or 99 cents in the euros. euros. But, uh, but uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I'll be coming on to that. That, 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 that all gets locked into the on stage. But that's what we're aiming at. Good stuff. As you can see, guys, here as well, that the tracking's really, really nice with the the controller. The the motion controller, so it's like it moves around really well, really, really nice and fluid, and yeah, there's no like jerkiness of there, so it's really nice. And you've got your laser pointer coming out as well. I'm pointing at it here, but you've got your laser pointer coming out, so it's really easy to aim and place your, your guys, your corex, and your towers and everything. But well, let's get into the game so you can see some more of that. Uh, Mark, has there been anything you've noticed since the PlayStation 4.5 update and the VR update? Has there any been any changes on how well it runs? Um, um, I haven't I noticed haven't anything myself, myself um, to, uh, be to be honest. It's the, it's the you, know, you know, I haven't, I haven't really had any really tracking, tracking, tracking issues myself. myself. Hello. So, <laughs> so there's Mark there, and now this is where in, in the game, like I said, you can see your you can see your health and your energy there for your base, uh, and this is where you can press the buttons. If you press the big main button on the move controller, the big center one there, it flips you around like that. You can do this in the settings, and you can change like it so it's smooth. Yeah, like that, smooth like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you 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 want to build some workers? workers. <laughs> Talk and work. Talk and work. Oh yeah yeah. Oh, is, is there guys coming already? Right, okay. Right, uh, and now, yeah, this is come. the menu, and we've got the, you can choose your workers, your soldiers, you've got tanks, lasers and everything, and depending on what button you press, brings up the different menus, oh, so, cool, right? yeah, so you can see all the ones, and you can upgrade your weapons. Right, I'm talking about, like, I better get my workers going. Uh, Sean, yep. Jamie Howie comments, major echo when the developer speaks. Is there? Um, yes. Oh. Uh, didn't, did you revert the settings before? No, Sorry. the settings are set, but... Guys, we're having a bit of a problem with the, there's a slight delay uh, between the stream and what that's picking up and when Mark talks, and it is a bit echoey. I've tried to eliminate that, but it seems almost impossible to get rid of. Uh, I don't know if it's just because we're using the party chat or something else. Uh, oh, my guys, I'm getting myself wasted here. You can see Mark's, because we're in co-op, Mark's going around here. He's giving me a hand just because I was rubbish there. Can I shoot them from there? Come on, shoot. <laughs> Mark's upgraded me and everything. That's better, guys. Right. <laughs> I'm going to try and get some more workers now. So you can see each worker costs 44 here. Yeah. So I've got to wait until my little guys get back. Hopefully my lasers will take you these guys coming in just now. But it, it really quickly ramps up. <laughs> Uh, Jimmy, sorry about the echo, yeah, we'll try and, like, uh, unfortunately I can't get it done for this time. We're going to be playing this in Small Fry, we're going to be playing this on the Games Lounge streams. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to this, I'm going to try and set up a regular stream where we can maybe do some uh, co-op with you guys online. Uh, uh, what is it, four player maximum, isn't it Mark, yeah? Uh, I'm going to put that there as well and get a, another laser, I've just blocked my guide though, like a tube. <laughs> Jamie also says your microphones are picking up on his voice, I think. Yeah, uh, I thought we tried uh, pick, pushing the volume down on the mics, didn't we? Yeah, th well, um, that's why it's like the way we've got it set up, guys, because we're doing it from two different studios and we're going through the party chat, uh, it seems the only way we can get it so it picks up the voice. What we've done is we've got it so we're using our mic so you can hear us normally, but all the audio so we can pick up Mark when he's talking in party chat is coming through the TV. So we've got nothing coming directly from the stream, 
going on to the live stream. We were just doing it through the TV, so you're, pick, you're picking up Mark and the game audio through our mics, but it's really difficult to to get that to to change. Oh, I'm getting wasted here. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I need, I need more guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, Jamie says looks great, very smooth. It is, and it's really crisp and clean in the game. It's uh, really nice to play. You know, this is one of the benefits in VR. You know, something that's really detailed. You get like pixelation and stuff. As much as I love Resident Evil, some of the bits weren't as quite as clear as they should be and stuff, or, or as much as you'd like anyway. But this is just really nice and clean, so it works really well. Right, I'm gonna have to get more guys here. What are you doing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mark, I really, uh, actually really like that user interface you've got for selecting your options. It's not, it's not cumbersome, uh, which RTSs can get, yeah. go at fault quite quickly with, in some cases. Oh, I'm a, oh, I'm a beast, day seven. <laughs> <laughs> uh. What's your health at now? It's like eight. <laughs> uh, I'm getting wasted. Die. <laughs> Imagine hold off these like the last as a five percent. Like yeah, destroy him, destroy him. Come on, lasers. Ah, yes. <laughs> I'm so close. Right. <laughs> so Sean, um, yep. I take it that uh, that dome at the beginning is that your base? Yeah, that's a yes. uh, Mark. What's that called? Is it called just a collector or something? Is it the little dome? This down here. This is your base. Yeah, it's your base, and you've got your crystals you collect here. So that's what you're constantly trying to do is build up. Is that what gives you gives you energy to then uh, place your? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, that was because no, I was talking at the start. Mark, save us. <laughs> uh, they're all coming for me now. <laughs> you, you're the developer. Fix um. it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the idea is you obviously defend your base. You progress forward and you try and get to these enemy bases, and then you're gonna basically try and destroy them before they can get and destroy you. Now, I was busy gibbering away, so I kind of ruined that there. Mark was trying to protect me, uh, but I messed up. But <laughs> this is like a medium level, by the way, and easy. It's actually not bad the first few levels, and it quite quickly ramps up in like difficulty. So there you have to go. really get... Um, um. Ah! <laughs> Mark said... <laughs> we can see you. Uh, right, we'll go and we'll do another game and I'll, I'll talk less this one. I'll let Connor discuss stuff <laughs> and I'll go in and actually build my base properly this time. I was, it was just a tester, guys. It was a tester. Yeah, so remember, we've got the developer uh, interview we did with Mark uh, down at the studio and it's up on PlayStation VR Frank's channel. So if you head on YouTube and go over there, you'll see that it's on his videos. Uh, check that out, it's about 15, 17 minutes long. And it's Mark telling you about the game, the process of making the game, working with Sony, and you can get some more details there. Uh, that's really cool. Like I said, we're going to be doing a playthrough with PlayStation, uh, uh, live stream, sorry, with PlayStation VR Frank as well. Uh, and going forward, hopefully we'll get some regular ones going. So you can get much more details. And we'll be doing ones where we can team up with you guys. So we'll create some rooms, party chats, and we can do some live streams with a couple of you guys on that, on YouTube and Twitch. By the way, if you're joining us on Twitch, thanks for joining us on Twitch as well. I've got a lot of guys as well who have entered the competition, so we're going to be uh, drawing that quite soon. But yeah, just for all the new people on Twitch and YouTube, thanks for joining. Let's jump in here again. Okay, I take it depending on the map. Do you have um, do you have multiple bases to look after if you're playing solo? Uh, no, you've got you've always got one base, don't you, Mark? Yep. Yeah. In co-op, um, basically, basically the, idea the idea is to destroy, destroy the enemy bases. bases. Um, um, one of you can actually die, die and still, and still win. win. As long as, as, long as the enemy is destroyed. destroyed. Uh, in uh, versus, versus, you've got to be last, be last man standing. standing. Uh, I've just instantly destroyed myself like a tube. You didn't <laughs> build anything. <laughs> I, forgot to add a, I forgot to add a guy. <laughs> Can you see that? What's, what's, wrong, what's wrong with this situation? What's wrong with this? My laser's working at least. <laughs> right, well, I'll come back uh, here and do that again. 
<laughs> and, and, and this is one of the things right. you said, Mark, wasn't it? Like with the heads, this is one of the cool things with the head. Is because they're quite simple models, it's not like super realistic because that was just weird to get the thousand eye stare. But what's good about this is the, the mannerisms come across. So you can see Mark there is just looking at me as, as if to say, What are you doing, Sean? He's <laughs> like shaking his head. And, and one of the guys, you had one of the guys, didn't you, Mark? Put his like controller down like that and dropped it in the table. Yeah, but he, he, literally, it. he literally did that and then let go and, and then just, go and go just <laughs> fell to the floor. floor. Right, I think I, I think I need to <coughs> come out and start can, that again, uh, don't I? Yeah, if yeah, you press the, uh, the, uh, the start button, button, you can then go into the main menu, menu and uh, press it again and I'll join again. again. Uh, press the start button. Here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's a little one on, one on, on the uh, side of the controller there. Oh yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, I'm being a trip there, sorry. Right, okay, so quick to me, Mark, uh, me, me, you, yes. Hmm. Right, let's go back in there. Yeah, uh, that brings me to uh, another little question. Um, can you, um, is there any ability to sort of, like, stomp it down, uh, like, a wrong thing there? Is there any ability to, like, deconstruct something and gain energy back from that to make something else? Or are you stuck yes. with what so, you have? There is a there destroy, is a destroy tool. tool. If you destroy, if you destroy a wall, wall, you don't get you anything. anything. It just crumbles away. away. If, if you destroy a turret, 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 then you get a token, get a token, token amount, amount you don't have to get again. Okay. Um, but uh, but less, less thing you put in. punishes you for making mistakes. Yeah. It's old school hard. Yeah, that's, yeah. So, see if, see if I destroyed my laser there, Mark, would that have given me enough to buy a worker? Um, when you destroy, when you destroy a turret, you get 20, 20 energy back, back, so you need to put the proper cell, cell to... to... Right. Let's do that properly this time. Right, here we go. So, I take... Check. Ah, right. <laughs> he doesn't trust you. Oh, shut up. I don't trust myself. I'm, I think, I'm I think that's what's more important. Next, I'm just going to stand here next to you and just sort of supervise. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are trying to say. <laughs> right. I think, I think I've got it sorted. Once this little guy comes back. Fire laser, fire, kill him. Die. Can you regain health in any way? Yep, the, yep, the, um, the, the base will heal. heal. Uh, so is it like a... Is it a the end of the world, the if you get damage, you can also repair it. If you use the Yes, that's like I'm doing a bit better now. Which, uh, which one are you going for, Mark? Are you going for the right or left one? Mm -hmm. um, I haven't decided yet. Yeah. Where's your guy over there? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for that one there, just because... It's closer to me. The one to his left. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just because it's closer and I'm, I'm, I'm rubbish at it. <laughs> so yeah, I, I take it... Should, should have some have kind some of strategy, strategy considering it's a real-time strategy game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My strategy is don't die. <laughs> yeah, Sean tends to win games. Uh -huh. What are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> win games in the best possible way. <laughs> He's not a very calculated person. Right, come on guys, quick, get in there, come on. I think, I think we've got this one. I think we've got it. I think we're doing good here. Come on guys, where are you? How many workers do you have, Mark? Do you have like 10 workers or something? Yeah, so guys, look, look, look at this, like the world. So you're in space, there's a big, big planet. That's Neptune, by the way, I can guarantee that's Neptune. <laughs> it's made up. Oh, damn, I'm made to upgrade my, my laser. What should? Right, there we go, that's better. Um, yeah, so like traditional RTS, you can only build... Uh, actually, yeah, what dictates how many tiles away from your base you can build? Is it from the last thing that you've propped mm. up? Uh, you, use you use walls, walls to gain territory. territory. So every time you place a wall, you gain territory around that wall. Right, okay. Yeah. Is, is it based on this, though, Mark? See how I'm seeing that circle there? Is that how far you can go? 
with one wall that sort of. Is the, that, so, so that circle is the range of the uh, laser turret. Right, okay, okay. It will show you, if you upgrade it, it will show you the um, upgrade range. Oh, right, okay, okay, I've got you now, yep. Yes, my guys. My guys, there <laughs> you go. <laughs> yeah, I probably need to destroy that wall there because I don't need that. Let's get another wall going here. So, yeah, you can do this. I can start getting my guys onto there. <laughs> you put a laser right in front of me. If you hold on, if you hold on the X button and point to there, the all my lasers will now start trying to race this guy. <laughs> ah, they destroyed me there. I was gonna say, uh, <laughs> they're probably gonna like try it. and destroy it. Uh, I haven't been able to look, but uh, how how many uh, how much energy does it cost to build a wall? Does it cost anything? Uh, to build one of these little walls? Yeah. yeah it costs you it costs you ten. Right. So. So I just wasted wasted stuff there like a tube. Now I'm gonna actually put a, I'm gonna put an anti. Yeah, let's get that in there. Artillery. Boom. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the guys are getting wasted, man. What's going on? <laughs> I think you're focusing too much on the enemy base right now. I think you should fortify yourself a little bit. I'm going to fortify you. <laughs> <laughs> get in there, get in there, quick. Get guys, quick. I thought we had this as well. God damn it. <laughs> Didn't shoot in there first, shoot there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no! That's quite funny. <laughs> well, you were doing really well. Okay. okay. Oh, no, you're getting wasted okay. here. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, no! no. <laughs> yeah, I, I, think I, I think I expanded too quickly. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I think you were too thin with your expansion. <laughs> yeah, um, I think I should have built up like a base here and kept them from getting in, or even near. Because it's much better this time than the last time. Yeah. Great. But as you can see guys, like, this this is what you want, look. Look at what Martin's got here, he's got like no. artillery firing no. off. Stay, Stay back. back! Go! Stay back! <laughs> I took some energy off them, look. That's alright. Like, 2%. Yeah, I'm done for now. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, uh, that weapon? The one that turns them all blue? This one's slowing down. This one's slowing down. Okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, look, so, yeah, yeah, you saw that right there. It's, it's slowed them down, look. And then you go back normal again. Unfortunately, Sean only knows how to use lasers. Yeah. <laughs> how, how are we setting for time, Mark? Sorry? How are we setting for time? Pick it up on my guys, Yeah, well, like this is the one, the third time lucky, I think. Shall we try Shall the we first, try first level? level? Yeah. <laughs> on easy. Wait, what are you trying to see, Mark? What are you trying to see? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think it's because I was I was not mentally prepared. I think, like, I was planning on Lindsay being here, so uh, I let myself slip. <laughs> okay, well, RTS 101. Right. You have to build a foundation first, okay? Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this one here, this is level one. Right, okay, we'll do this one then. That, one, that looks good, that looks good. We'll keep up medium, yeah? I think I think medium's okay. doable. I just want... Yeah. See, now, this is the good point about this, though. This is, the, this is what's great about the game, is the first time I didn't do stuff properly, the second time, I went too far, spread myself too thin. The third time now, I'm still going to fail. <laughs> 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 right, two workers, let's do this. Get now, a wall uh, here. Uh, okay, uh, what are the role of workers? Are they to get you more energy? Yeah, questions? so so your little guys go and collect from here. Yeah. They're collecting the ore or crystals. They bring them back, gives you energy, so you see build up on my controller. Then yeah, I can okay. start build, building turrets and stuff, so.
I'm getting getting bones flashbacks. There's this flash game called Bones I used to play all the time. Balloons? Yeah, Bones. B L O O N S. Bones. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, I used to I used to play it on all the time when I was a bit younger. I don't know if it's still around today. Right, I'm gonna get some artillery. I've never used artillery, so I'm feeling quite quite good about that one. Right, that's as far as I'm gonna go there. A trick is to find some work. Right, okay. Well, this this is my little defense. I call this the the triangle of power. See it? <laughs> <laughs> that snicker said that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Mighty. Triangle of power. It's it looks mighty. amazing. <laughs> yeah. I th I'm telling you, this is looking good, Dick. It's a, it's a, it's a good little setup no there. Workers. <laughs> right, I'm getting more workers. Here we go. I'm gonna upgrade as well. These two. <laughs> I'm going to upgrade him as well, once he comes. Come on, I need one more guy. Actually, I'll get another worker, there we go. Oh no, I'm too short for another worker. There we go. <coughs> upgrade. Boom. Boom. Let's get these little walls upgraded as well. Uh, so... Right, I'm going to be a bit of drift here, one sec, it's just me. Like, I don't know if there's something blocking my view or something, one sec. That's better. Seems to be getting a bit drift. Uh, right, more workers. Let's get some workers. There's three workers, two workers. Upgrade that. Uh, so, Mark, what influenced you to make an RTS but in a VR setting instead of a traditional one? Apart from it just being awesome. Um, um, personally, personally um, um, I was, I was playing, playing around with D2, D2 and, just and just thought that I was just taking my VR in, 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 in priority. priority. And I wasn't, I wasn't game a game developer for VR. VR. So, so I just I I see. kind of dedicated my time to developing develop develop games in virtual reality. reality. Right, okay. Um, this, this is my is first, first real game, game really. Game, really. Hmm. Something to be a man with the control scheme problem that you can have with consoles and stuff. Um, um, and I'm a and massive RTS fan, fan and, and I have a PlayStation. So, so for, me, for me, it was kind of like, like a, a, a no brain way. It's like finally, finally now, now I have, have a really, a really a, a great, a great RTS that can be controlled, controlled easily, easily, rather than the messy messy that you have. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do know what you mean by that. Um, yeah, I'm more used to RTSs on like a mouse and a keyboard setting. Um, it does, it does feel um, similar with the pointers of the PlayStation Move, being like the mouse. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to get one of them now. Right, one second. I'm, I seem to be getting drift here, but I, I don't know, there's nothing in my room should be like causing it, so it's a bit weird. Uh, right, let's get these guys upgraded. Mark, just making sure you're doing right, Sean. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, uh, I can't pause, can I? Right, you can't pause, player, no. Where's my controller? I'm just going in here. But, oh, you want me to hold the No, no, it's like my controller went, went wonky there. I think uh, I'm just being... Right, I've got one uh, there, so let's get a wall in. Let's get another anti-aircraft going in. Right, I think it's time to start attacking. Yeah. Uh, uh, Dougie, the reverse pro gamer, has joined us. Hey, hey Dougie, how you doing, dude? Says Heidi Ho Pizza. <laughs> Heidi Ho! Heidi Hi. Mm. 
<laughs> oh, damn. You, you went the other way. Damn, 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 damn. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, I went, I went the opposite way. What, you uh, regret to you? No, I was going there, I was going up there, but I went the wrong way a bit. That's fine. <laughs> This is this is going way better. Oh, we're going to start attacking the main beach, yeah. I'm already oh, getting tanks. tanks. <laughs> well, you, you've got a tank there. Yeah, I got two. Well, like oh these. yeah, I should get some tanks. They're, mega ball. They're, they're oh, I've got enough for a mega ball. Damn. Let's get a couple of tanks. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get tanks. <laughs> Let's get some aircraft as well. This is looking good. Oh man, aircraft destroying them. Fly, my pretties! Fly! fly. What a mega ball. Come on, guys, where are you? I, I want to get that mega ball so much. I'm okay, All right, Sean, control yourself. Here goes, here goes, <laughs> here goes, Megabot. Megabot time! Oh. Yes! <laughs> look, look at him, look, my Megabot. He's amazing! <laughs> we've got this, Mark, we've destroyed them. Yes! The lasers are... That's it. Oh no, they're sending those guys! Oh, they're gonna waste my laser. We're so close! I have something up my sleeve. You got a new... Pull the trigger! Pull the trigger! <laughs> Two, one... They're the new guys! <laughs> Awesome stuff, awesome stuff. That was um, that was quite amazing, Mark, considering you don't even have sleeves in here. You don't have what? It doesn't have sleeves. <laughs> I think we've done pretty damn well there in that last level. Yeah. Yeah, I think we did. <laughs> oh, wait, well done, Sean. Yeah, maybe the level. Yeah, look at these guys getting killed for the fun of it. Before we end the stream. That's it, actually. Destroy them. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, they're getting through. <laughs> It doesn't matter, matter. matter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go before we get beat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so guys, let's get his headset off. So there you go, you can see that's Corex Free. That's a quick couple of levels with uh, myself and Mark, Stellar VR. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Yeah, I'm just gonna switch over to the studio stream one second. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I've got VR here now. Uh, this is gonna be released on the 28th of March, so only a few days away. Now, is, that, is that a Tuesday, Mark? Yes, it, yes, is, it yes. is, yes. So on Tuesday, uh, I've not got the exact price, uh, let me say it's probably going to be about $20, uh, which will probably be about 15, 16 UK pounds, uh, or thereabouts, that's not exact figures, but thereabouts roughly. So keep an eye on that on the PlayStation Store. And yeah, go and head over to Stellar VR, support Mark's uh, game, check it out, share it around. If it's something you're into, even if it's not something you're into, not this type of game, share it around. This is the kind of things we want to see on VR and yeah the more support you give the more games like this can be made and you're supporting small devs like uh, Stella VR yeah. to make even bigger games and better <laughs> games. <laughs> Is there uh, anything you want to leave it with Mark? No, just no, thank, you thank you very much, very for, much watching for watching and, and uh, uh, I'll, be, I'll playing be playing on the 28th and 29th so I look forward to meeting you all playing online. Yeah and we'll post some stuff as well for when we're doing uh, our streams we'll get a regular thing going up and we'll see if we get Mark in again and we'll hopefully be joining up with PlayStation VR Frank. Corey, anything you want to say? Yeah, no, uh, thanks, Mark. Uh, 
I, uh, I actually really like to look at it. Unfortunately, I get sick when I play VR. Well, so. we can try this. We can try this one and see what it's like. Um, uh, just a last remark, Doug says that he thinks the game looks really cool to play. Uh, as if it's multiplayer only, I think we established earlier it's not. No, no, yeah, it's, a, it's got a single player campaign as well. Is it eight levels, Mark? Is that right? Yep, it's yeah, an eight level campaign, campaign that, that takes between three to five hours, hours depending how good you are. And then, and then there's also skirmish mics, so you can go through and replay levels with, levels with different, different unlocks. unlocks. And then, and then you can also go to multiplayer. So, Excellent. Uh, so, yeah, so, yeah, so the campaign, the campaign is where you cut your teeth, teeth you learn how to play, play then, then bring yourself into multiplayer, multiplayer and, and show everyone how good you are. <laughs> like me. <laughs> 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 Alright, Mark, thank you very much for uh, letting us be part of this, uh, leading up to the release, yeah. and we'll see you online, and good luck with the game. Mm-hmm. Thank you very Thank much. You very Thank you very much. Cheers, guys. Thank you. And stay tuned for more. We'll be. Uh, I may just hang on for like another ten minutes. If you've got any questions, you want to ask me or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, we might jump on as well tomorrow for the Splatoon uh, test fire. Oh yeah, there's yeah. One yeah. more day of that. We, we tried it last night. It was on tonight, but we're obviously doing this stream. So tomorrow I might jump on that and have a little couple of games. I was terrible at it as well, but. I'll jump on with you guys as well. (laughs) Take care. I'll catch you guys soon. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone.